Right, we're here at uh, Bray Raceway, Ballarat. Here we're on the International All-Stars Tour, and it's been not for the faint-hearted so far, but it all winds up on Saturday night with that wonderful Great Southern Star meeting. Four Group 1s, Blake. Kicks off with the Princess of Speed. Really interesting race. Highgate was the champion two-year-old filly last year, and she seemed to have gotten even better this term. Has she got a mortgage on the race? Well, I guess it depends how you look at it. With the barrier draw, you'd say probably she's drawn barrier one. Her main danger, Kiang Yankee's drawn outside. Her probably can't cross. She has developed gate speed this preparation, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough to get across early. So, uh, in terms of does she have a mortgage on the race, I'd say probably, but I wouldn't be loading up at even money necessarily. Only other hope here in Yankee? I believe so. Uh, Sky Majesty, I have a lot of time for. Uh, a horse that's certainly going places and improving, but um, yeah, I'd say Highgate and, and Kiang Yankee, the only two winning chances. I'd love to see Kiang Yankee go lickety split throughout. She does pull a little bit in her races anyway. Went 155.4 at Bendigo last start, so hopefully it's a truly run affair. That might bring Princess Phoenix into it, but I'm a little bit with you that the two big guns should dominate. Now we get to the big stuff, the Great Southern Star Series. Two elimination heats. The first one is noticeably weaker than the second. I think it has to be said. Glenferry Typhoon's a very short price favourite. But you might want to be a little bit brave to jump into a $1.50, $1.60 about a horse who can make mistakes. Well, at his best, he just wins. Is he at his best? I'm not sure. We saw at Cranbourne, he trotted roughly the whole way around before galloping. Uh, it wasn't a great sign going into a $300,000 series with heat and final on the same night. So will he get crossed at the start? That's maybe the big question. Uh, Maori time can get away pretty quickly. She couldn't cross him at Bendigo when they went a 26-2 first quarter, but Yannick Gingra, Gingra job jumps on. Could be the difference, who knows? Uh, he can be a bit hit and miss at the start as well. So uh, he's too short, he's clearly too short. Lord is Princess, the obvious danger. But I, again, I'm not sure I can file him for anything to beat him. Good work getting over the track right there. It's, this is real racing action here at Bray Raceway as we uh, head towards the first race. Um, look, I think Glenferry Typhoon's the one to beat. If you want to take him on though, I think probably there's two horses that I think can beat him, and they're both mares. Claudius Princess, I think there's a great chance. Sonos to know go doesn't score up brilliantly well, generally speaking. Yep. But Claudius Princess could duck in behind Glenferry Typhoon. And the underrated one, I think, is, uh, is quite a moment, who is just gone to a new level since going back to New Zealand for a little while, coming back here, still trained by Greg Hope, a good aggressive driver on Lance Justice, I think at $10 she's not a bad each way bet. The second of the great Southern Star Heats will probably be the best pointer for the final later in the night, Keystone Dell and Speeding Spirit would be the, would be the two nominal favourites for the series now, um, Keystone Dell's got the best of the draws here, A dollar forty TAB fixed odds for the Dell, looking for his second great Southern Star win. And speeding spur 240, a race in two? Uh, definitely. I think Kai Valley Blurred will almost certainly run third. But in terms of who wins, I think you have to lend to Keystone Dale in the heat. Um, we saw them in the Australian Trotting Grand Prix. Keystone Dale led, speeding spur sat parked and almost got him but couldn't quite over 2240. Now he was drawn the second row there, speeding spur. He's got good gate speed. I don't think he can cross. I think Keystone Dale will be able to hold the lead from there. It's his heat to lose. Um, but I'd say that they can probably run the Quinella Exactor and then Kai Valley Blue to run third. Yeah, I think you've summed that up pretty well there. It's a great betting race. Yeah, it's a money race for sure and good form you'd imagine. Uh, very skinny, one Keystone Dell. I think the draw is going to be crucial for the final, but here Keystone Dell's just got the best of the draws and I think he leads and wins. Spedding Spur sits parked and probably runs second and Kai Valley Blur for third. Although you might want to have a little save with Kai Valley Blur to run second and Speeding Spur third. Um, and then we go to the Princess of Speed, the other group, one of the nine. It's a wonderful program throughout. You've got the gold, silver, and bronze finals of the Breed for Speed series as well. But that uh, Prince of Speed, I think there's four horses and there's almost nothing between them. Are you with the TAB favourite, Big Jack Hamlin, or one of the others? Well, as the tractor comes back around, I've always been a cruising around man. Uh, I like the way he's progressing his preparation. Big Jack Hammer had the better of him two starts ago, but he just improved and got better into the last flash where he was too good. Cool. So for me, I think Bruce around is still on the up, still going places. I'd have him clearly on top, but as you say, there's probably four genuine chances in an even race. Michael Torrento's driving the bus around for the boys this week, and he's a part owner of uh, cruising around many of the Cram and boys involved. And maybe ballpark as well. Yeah, mate, I think, mate, mm. very strong hand. So they're two of the four key chances. We've mentioned Big Jack Hammer and Bacardi Hurricanes, the yep. other one. I think there's four hopes you want to be throwing them all in your quaddies. But I'm with you. I think on his best day, cruising around is the best horse. He'll probably have to sit park, but that's not unusual for him. He's done it very regularly. He's a strong horse, and he's got a great turn of foot. But as I say, I'd be including all those four in your quaddie. Bacardi Hurricane, Big Jack Hammer, cruising around and also Ball Park, who might be your leader in the race. Well, that's our analysis of Great Southern Star Night. As I mentioned, 
Uh, it's been a wonderful week here with the International All-Stars, particularly with our three visitors from the Northern Hemisphere, Yannick Jingra, who will play a, a key hand in the Great Southern Star Series, and also Brett Miller and Corey Callahan. So thanks very much for joining us, Blake, and hopefully we can find you a winner on Saturday night at Tabcourt Park. But who's your tip for the final, Jase? Oh, Keith, I'm with Keith Sundell. I'm going to go speeding spur. I just think the way he raced in the Trotting Grand Prix, maybe a little bit more upside, but it'll be a cracking final. Looking forward to it.